Good day everyone, welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to convert radical expression to rational exponents. So, balik tad naman. In our previous video, we identified the parts of our rational exponent and radical expression. So, ganun lang din yung gagawin natin. We're going to apply the same thing and we need to identify the parts. So, I'm going to show you some examples on how to convert radical expressions to rational exponents. So, this is it. Okay, let's have an example. For example, we're going to convert cube root of x squared to a rational exponent. So, first thing that we need to do is to copy the base. Okay, our base or the radicand is our base. So, we have x. And next is our exponent of x. The exponent of x, which is 2, will now serve as our numerator. Okay? And our index will serve as our denominator. Okay? And that's it. That's how you convert radical expressions to rational exponents. Okay. Let's have another example. For example, we have a square root of 7. Now again, we need to copy the radicand. Okay? And that radicand will serve as our base. So we copy 7. And then after that, let's identify the exponent of our radicand. What's the exponent of our radicand? That is 1. So we copy or we write 1 as our numerator. And our denominator will now be the index. Since we don't have any index here, we will automatic it is going to be 2. So this will be over so we have 7 raised to 1 half and that is the let's have another example for example we have 3 times the square root of a raised to 5 so first thing that we need to do is for us to separate 3 and square root of a raised to 5 so we need to separate them 3 times the square root of a raised to 5. Now, the only variable that we're going to convert is square root of a raised to 5. So, again, we will just leave 3 alone. Okay, so 3 times. Okay, then we copy the in radicand. That will serve as our base. The exponent will serve as our numerator. The index will serve as our denominator. So, 5 over and we simplify, put them together, we have 3a raised to 5 over 2. Let's have That's another example. Let's have cube root of a squared b c squared. Ayan. So, in this case, we're going to treat the radicand as 1. Okay, so if we're going to convert it to rational exponent, we're going to group the one inside as our base. So we have a squared b c squared and place it in one group. Okay? Now, knowing that they don't share a common power, we will assume that they are raised or this group is raised to 1. This is only one group. Therefore, it is raised to 1. Now, our numerator will serve as 1. And our denominator will be the index, okay, over 3. And now, if you want, you can apply the power of a product rule, wherein we will have a raised to 2 over 3, b raised to 1 third, and c raised to 2 over 3. I have our last example for today. So, we have the fourth root of x squared times y raised to 5 times z raised to 6. So we have this. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is to copy the 1 inside the radical symbol or the radicand. So we need to place them in one grouping symbol. So parenthesis, x squared, y raised to 5, z raised to 6. Now, how many x squared, y raised to 5, z raised to 6, can you see in our radicand? We have only 1. Therefore, our numerator for all this group is 1. Okay? And then, our index is 4. Our index is 4. That will serve as our denominator for our rational exponent. So, we have x squared, 
y raised to 5, z raised to 6, then they are all raised to 1 fourth. Now, if you want to proceed and continue, you can, you can distribute the rational exponent. So we apply the power of a product rule. So we have x raised to 2 over 4, y raised to 5 over 4, and z raised to 6 over 4. And then, if you want, you can simplify it. Okay? Again, this two examples are already converted. I mean, if you want to extend your answer, then you can still proceed to the next one, which is simplifying. Okay, so we need to simplify. Okay, so we have x raised to 1 half, y raised to 5 over 4, and z raised to 3 over 2. And now that we're done with our example, it's your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box to open our worksheet or practice exercise for this topic. And that's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.